Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're taking a look at probably going to be the last breakthrough in on format video that I do. And this is going to be a ho o Kiawe deck. Because I thought, what better way to end off the format season of videos than with the same deck that I started off with. The first deck video that I did for the new, for the breakthrough in on format at the time was ho o Kiawe. And it's been a fun format. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to miss Sycamore Nen. Um, a lot, you know, these cards were basically around for, since the beginning of the black and white era, which was like eight years ago, so it's been like eight years since we have the mechanic of N and like Juniper slash Sycamore, so it's gonna be really weird to say goodbye to these cards in standard, not gonna lie, it's gonna be pretty hard to adjust to having new draw sporters. We had some fun in the Breakthrough Not videos, we almost had nearly 200 videos of you know, video of the format. We had a lot of fun with a lot of different decks. You know, the Steelix Kiawe deck we did. We tried out Zoropod when, you know, Zoark first came out. You know, we had Darkrai Nilahigo. You know, there was Zoark with counter energy attackers and Garboder, which was uploaded on a very weird day. But, um, obviously, the format's going to be missed quite a bit. And, uh, we're going to take a look at the last deck here. This is going to be Ho Kiawe, which has a decent chance in Worlds thanks to. Well, a few reasons. Well, one, the deck is not bad. Fire types aren't terrible right now either because of, well, you know, stuff like Stagataka. Um, Stagataka is expected to be very big at Worlds, potentially with Naganadel. There's other metal types too, like Dustmane and Krasma. Obviously, something like Scizor GX could be played. So there's still some big metal types. So ho -Oh, um has the potential right now. Not to mention, you know, there's grass types like Glossopod. So who knows? Potentially... Fire could be a very good underrated deck to bring to Worlds. So is Hobo Kiawe a good deck to bring to Worlds? Well, we're going to find out with some matches. Now, Hobo Kiawe actually gains a nice new addition, and that's Mysterious Treasure. Uh, one of the things that Hobo Kiawe, um, you know, kind of had, you know, you had Ultra Balls to grab your Leles for turn one Kiawe. Uh, but now we have Treasure, which also gives us another option to pull off a turn one Kiawe. So Treasure could be a really good card in this deck, too, to help pull off a turn one Kiawe when needed. Um... Other than that, you know, it's kind of a simple deck. I'm not playing Max Elixirs in this build, um, but I've gone with a different engine with Baby Volk instead, um, which can help us a bit against the matchups against, um, you know, Control Zoark. Um, also, Baby Volk is a nice non-GX attacker if we ever run into Hoopa. Um, so Baby Volk can be a really good attacker in this deck to also build up our Pokemon. Um, we do play one Dawnwings. I'm not going with two. Zoark is most likely going to be the most played deck in Worlds, not to mention Zoark is very popular right now. So we're not going to go too crazy on the uh, Dawnwings. We're just going to play one copy of it. But Invasion helps us out quite a bit with um, Volcanius Steam, uh, with Volcanius Attack, Volcanic Key, and also with Hobo's Phoenix Burn, which hits for 180. 180 is good numbers because with a Choice Bane, you hit for 210, which one shot Zoarks and stuff like that, and also Buzzwolves and, you know, Alternate Cosmos. Uh, we are playing one Turnator, great for Bright Flame, and also Nitro Tank is a very useful GX tech to rebuild your board up. We got three Leleys, I've gone all in, three Leleys to help increase the odds of pulling off a turn one Kiawe, that's kind of what this deck's all about. We are playing one Oranguru in this deck for the draw support um, side of things, and that's it for the Pokemon, we're just playing 13 Pokemon, pretty straightforward. We go into the items now, one Field Blower to be able to get rid of the tools and whatnot. Again, two treasures, it helps us get the turn one Lele off. Lele is an important card in this matchup anyways, um, because we can get our Guzmas when we need them. Kiawe, most importantly. I am playing two Nest Balls. Obviously, there's no bridge in this deck or anything. Nest Ball is going to be how we can get ho -Oh into play. You know, Nest Ball, Kiawe in the one turn. One Super Rod to be able to get our Pokemon and Energy back. I like Super Rod in this deck a lot more than Rescue Stretcher. Uh, four Ultra Balls to search for our Pokemon. We got four copies of Cynthia to be able to have Drop Sport. Two ends, four Sycamores, all draw sport cards, four Guzmas, another card that can reset uh, Volcanic Heat and also reset Phoenix Burn is Guzma, so it's a very useful card. Three Kiawes, again, we want to be able to pull off a turn one Kiawe to be able to build up a hole in one turn. We are playing three Choice Bands, very important card for the extra damage, three Float Stones, and we are playing a total of 14 basic Fire Energy. A lot of Fire Energies, I know, but 14 is a reasonable amount, I feel like, in this deck. Um, but this is the Ho-Oh Kiawe deck that I've got here for the Worlds format. The final Ho-Oh Kiawe deck for Worlds format. It's going to be interesting that this is this deck is going to be interesting, especially losing stuff like Volcanians. Um, so this is the last Worlds format kind of Ho-Oh deck that uh, has Volk. And once rotation hits, Ho-Oh won't have Volk anymore. Well, I guess we have the new Blaziken, which comes out of Dragon Majesty, I'm pretty sure. 
hopefully it does. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. But other than that, Ho-Oh is going to ride off of the Kiawe Vulk Engine for the one last time. And to end off the Breakthrough On series, we're going to be using the deck that started all off for going full circle. So we'll find some games that here on PC Joe, see the deck in action, and see if we end up playing against metal or something. So I'll catch you guys in just a minute. Alright guys, here we go. Let's get some games with our Kiawe Ho deck. See if we end up pulling off the turn one Kiawe. Let me just open up a drink here. Nice little Pepsi. Alright, looks like we are playing against Zoark. Um, this is going to be interesting. Hopefully we win the coin flip. We don't. That's annoying. But this might not be Zoark control. I mean, it might. I mean, I don't know. I did see Kalis, which is a Ranguru. But he's playing Fairy for Sylveon. We'll have to see how we do. Uh, we can beat Zork though. It's not a terrible matchup for us. It's really not that bad. Uh, we are going to mulligan. Hopefully we can get a better hand. Nice little Ho-Oh energies matching the Ho-Oh deck. Um, we'll see how we pair against this matchup though. I am still interested to see how we do against a deck like this. And alright, we actually got a ideal start. We do have Turwin Kiawe. We got a baby Volk start. So that's pretty good. We're not going first, which is unfortunate. But I'm fine with what we've got right now. I am a little annoyed that we are playing against Zorak Control over any other Zorak matchup. You know, Zoropod probably would be the best matchup we could have asked for if we were to play against Zorak. But uh, we'll have to just deal with this matchup. And we'll have to see if we can do good against Zorobar Control. He's actually going to do Bridget for two cards. Sadly, this is a not a Pulse Station build, so he still has access to stuff like Parallel Cities puzzles don't worry though there's literally like what not even a week left a puzzle of time and then we don't have to deal with that garbage anymore in zoark which is you know just amazing so we'll do kiawe we do have a ranguru we have one ho prized we have one of our tapu leles prized we have a sycamore prized we do have all our guzmas all our cynthias that's good got all our choice bands we got a few energies prize. But other than that, we are going to get Turn 1 Kiawe off. It's not looking too good, though, if this dude gets, like, a Guzma on my ho -Oh. But we'll have to see. Should have attached to at the active, but I might do Guzma. I don't know. I should have attached to the active bolt. That's fine. Maybe he does, like... A, a, who knows? I mean, I don't think Zorak Control plays Crushing Hammer, but... I'd rather just load up ho -Oh and just worry about uh, Zoro later. We'll see. Maybe I probably should have attached the active. That's my bad for not doing that, I guess. It's my bad. I am scared that he's going to find, like, a Guzma play here, though. Not going to lie. I'm a little worried about that. He is going to get Macargo, so he has access to do that. Oh, my gosh. This combo, man. This combo. It's actually the first time I've played against a Zork Macargo deck, I think. Um, I've played against other Macargo decks, like Swampert Macargo, but this is the first time I'm playing against Zork Macargo. So this is going to be very interesting. I haven't really watched many games of it. I mean, they're it, not gonna lie, Zork Macargo is kind of boring to watch because it, it, it's such slow, long games. But I do have an idea of how this deck will play, so it should be okay. I doubt he's gonna be playing any way to really stop me. I'm gonna be curious to see if he's running any, like, Devoured Fields or Reverse Valleys or something so that he can do 130 damage. Because I'm assuming he wants to knock out my bulk, my baby bulk this turn. So we'll have to see if he's able to do that. Can't grab a team flare grunt. That's good. Get that garbage out of here. And yeah, he is playing Reverse Valley. So we are going to lose our Baby Volk. But we do have two. I do have Super Rod. Uh, Baby Volk is kind of here to help in these type of matchups. But it looks like we're going to be knocking out the Zorark here. We can potentially follow with another KO in the next turn. So we'll have to see. I am worried my opponent's going to get like a Guzma KO here though. I think actually, wait, he did Sycamore, didn't he? I don't know. I, I honestly can't remember what he did. I'm just hoping ho -Oh doesn't take damage. The fact that he played Reverse Valley down this turn tells me he's just going to knock out my Volk here. Now my opponent has three Zoraks in play. I'm going to be curious to see how Pokemon reacts to Zorak going forward, man, I swear. It's going to Stretcher. It's going to get back three Pokemon. I'm assuming Lele, yeah, Macargo, and Slugma to see another trade so my opponent's acting just to knock out my volk he's gonna get rid of a counter catcher it's gonna right just beat me so we are gonna get ko'd here but hopefully we're able to get a ko we just need choice band volker energy 
and there is the knockout. However, maybe it's better to just build up a hobo, but I think it's best to take the knockout. We really need to take it. So we're going to go steam up, and now we knock him out. Might as well do Cynthia, kind of keep everything in our hands, seems fine. We did find a Ho-Oh, no other energies though, I was hoping we would do that. We do find ho -Oh, though, we do have treasure for Dawnwing. Actually, well, the fact that he played a Verse Valley, he might not play Parallel. I, let's just hope he doesn't play Parallel City. Um, I don't want to put Dawnwings down now, that's an easy prize for him. I mean, I guess then we do reset ho -Oh. Obviously ho -Oh is not getting KO'd next turn. So I don't know if I want to... If I bench Starlings now, that's such an easy prize for him. But again, it does reset my ho -Oh, Which is what I want to happen. I think we'll just hold off and just knock out this uh, Zoark here. We'll take our two prizes. We might get into four. That's the only problem. There's another ho -Oh, There's our other Lele. He's not going to one-shot ho -Oh. The only thing that kind of falters here is we're not going to have another ho -Oh ready to attack. So we might have to wait. That's why I do Baby Volt. So we'll have to see if Baby Volk can put him work. But even like Volk, oh, he's ending. Of course he's ending me, and I'm not gonna hit what I'm looking for, am I? He's gonna do puzzle. Hopefully this end doesn't screw me over, and I don't hit the combo I need. I, mean, I haven't played that many cards, so hopefully I'm able to find Dawn Wings and stuff. Try counter catcher. Okay. I, is he actually going to play? He is. And he's going to bring out my Volk. Okay, interesting. We know we're going to get end here, most likely, which I'm fine with. I, really interesting play, though, for my opponent. I mean, we, we have Choice Band, so even if we don't have Steam Up. The only problem is, if we don't hit a Guzma... I mean, look, we haven't played a single Ultra Ball, a single Treasure. We still have two Leles. We should hit a way out of this. Yeah, we got Float and Guzma. We're good. I was going to say, if I didn't hit that, I would be pretty annoyed. I think I'm actually just going to Ultra Ball for Sycamore here and just shuffle back my uh, Vulcan stuff. I think it's fine. Like, we could Guzma up this guy, but we might as well just knock out his active. There's no harm in that. He's not taking a prize this turn either, which is another big thing. He's going to parallel me. Okay, so I guess we will just retreat with the Flowstone then. But that's fine. Oh no, it's not fine. We don't have a knockout for next turn. Can we find energy... Okay, that works too. I was going to say, if we don't find energy, we're not going to be able to KO him. But, we do find a Field Blower, which allows us to get rid of that dumb Parallel City. And grab Lele for Sycamore. It's not bad. We are going to lose our Rod, so we aren't going to be able to get back that Vault. But we do have another Vault in the deck. So it's fine. It's fine. I wouldn't mind putting Dawnwings down now, just so I can... Like, if he does another Parallel City, I can bump my bench. Can't wait for Parallel Leave. I'm so excited for the new format. And nice, we are able... To knock him out this turn, which is good. So yeah, we will just do steam up. Knock out the Zoark. We are just shredding through this deck right now, which is amazing. Feels good, man. Now we just Phoenix Burn, knock him out. Hobo hasn't even taken damage yet, which is another big thing at the moment. There's our Dawn Wings. I didn't even know it was prize. Rip, I should have considered that, but now we got it, so that's good. We don't parallel me again. We do have Lele for Guzma. We can Guzma up. Lele on the bench and win the game. So we have game next turn as long as we don't get in, but he's probably going to do that. That's why I do play a heavy draw support count. Like, we've only played two of our draw supporters right now. So, no, he's not going to end me. He's going to grab another Zoark. He could knock out my Volk if he wants. And then oh, I have to dig for Choice Band. Like, even if he Volk, we still have access to knock him out. He's going to go Macargo. How many puzzles does he have left? That should be his last. That's his last one, so... I don't know, we might be okay here from a parallel city. So we should be good. Alright, so let's see what he grabbed with Macargo. I don't really know what he's looking for. I don't think he plays two counter catchers. He's gonna play a float stone on his Macargo, okay. And as long as this Ride just beatings me, we do have game. No, he's gonna end me to two. Okay. Again, we have a lot of draw support. We still have all our Ultra Balls and Treasures to grab Lele as long as it doesn't parallel me again. We got an energy, and that's good, I guess. We do have N. I don't want to do N, though. We just need to find a choice band. Okay. Can we win the game here with our top deck? Yep. We do. Take that, Zork Macargo. Take that. Take the L. Get out of here with your annoying... Annoying antics. 
feels good, man, to just cream a Zork Macargo deck because it's going to be one of the most annoying decks. Thankfully, it's not in the format that long. Oh my gosh. <sighs> feels good to beat that, not going to lie. It just, it just feels good, man. It feels good in the soul. Uh, but we'll find another match in just a moment, so I'll catch you guys in just a second. Alright guys, here we go. Let's go find another match with our ho deck. Very satisfying win against Zork Macargo. And we'll have to see what we're playing against next. It looks like another Zork Macargo deck? I mean, Lightning is an interesting type to see. Maybe it's not Zork Macargo. We'll have to see. Uh, we do win the coin flip here. Which is nice. So we'll have to see what we end up getting. Do we get Turon Kiawe? We don't. I, what? No Turon Kiawe? Really? Really? Okay, so we didn't get Turon Kiawe. We do start with Volky X. We do have Guzma. Uh, we have Cynthia. I think we'll play Cynthia. Um, I guess it's kind of my only good play here is to do Cynthia. I think Zork Salazzle. Okay. This makes me a little more mad I didn't get Turon Kiawe. Um, what to do? What to do? I don't think I want to attach to Volk. More tempted to discard this entire hand, and if I'm gonna be quite honest with you, but we'll play Float. We'll play Cynthia, um, and I guess because we didn't get Kiawe, I'm looking for a Baby Volk here. Okay, we have Kiawe for next turn, and we have Ho, -Oh, which is fine. No Baby Volks, and that's two of our Guzmas. We have to discard too, though. Looks like we're playing against Zork Salazzle, though. This is an interesting matchup. It's this one of those matchups where they can actually hit numbers to one-shot you, which is a little scary. So, yeah, not looking too into this matchup, but we'll see. He's actually going to attach to Salazzle, which is fine. Volk can actually one-shot Salazzle GX, which is fine by me. They are going to do a Cynthia, okay. Maybe this isn't Pulse Rotation then, because they would have maybe tried to do Bridget there. I mean, if they only have one Zorro in play, this is really good. Are we can Kiawe to Hobo. Plus, we have Volk if we really need to deal with uh, Slazzle GX at any point. So that's fine by me. Okay, it's not Pulse Rotation. He's going to parallel me. He's going to make me have three bench Pokemon. However, he's doing less damage with his Slazzle, so joke's on you. Uh, we drew a Lele. Might as well just Kiawe. Build up the ho -Oh. Get this bad boy built up. And next turn, we will knock out Zorua. We can also Guzma out Salanded, knock it out if he puts the Slazzle GX down. But I think it's better to knock out Zorua so Zork GX can come into play. So obviously, Zork GX is the bigger threat here in this matchup. One thing I do wish this deck played was maybe like Scorched Earth and maybe like a more Field Blower because Parallel City is one of those stadiums that will shut your deck down quite a bit. So maybe it's best to like have a way to counter Parallel even more. So that's going to be in play it looks like for a while now, which is a little annoying. My opponent will Evil Soda into Zoar. If he finds a Field Blower, that'll suck. That's one thing I am worried about, but I didn't want to retreat into ho -Oh and take damage. That just would not seem like a very good idea to do. So I was like, let him just hit Volk, whatever. Volk can sponge a hit. So I was like, whatever. So I have to see. I mean, my opponent could like get a Guzman retreat and attack ho -Oh. He's got one Pokemon in play, so he's only doing like, what, 40 damage? Volk will not be getting hit very hard here. My opponent will do one trade. Um, get rid of Ultra Ball. So I'm guessing he's still going to fill his bench up. The thing, though, that's nice about Parallel is Slazzle GX's damage is not going to be as strong. But Parallel will hurt us a little bit because we do want to have a lot of Pokemon on our bench. Okay, but we'll see. Um, we do have a knockout on the Zoark here as long as he doesn't find a Field Blower. He is going to do the Guzma play that I was thinking he was actually going to do. He's going to evolve into Salanded, okay. He's going to hot poison me. We still KO him though, which is good. Though, he actually might be able to KO me next turn with Flamethrower, unfortunately, unless I find a Field Blower off my Sycamore here. We'll see though. He's going to Ultra Ball. Okay, he's getting rid of... He had a Bridget, so I don't know why he didn't just Bridget and just swing into Volk, but okay. He can Ultra Ball for Lele. He's already played his Guzma, though. So that's fine. I mean, I'm actually hoping... He might just keep Slanded in the active spot, too, potentially. Because he knows if he attacks with Zork, he might get a KO'd. So maybe he's going to, like, keep Slanded in the active. Or Slazzle, sorry, in the active. I don't know why I called it Slanded. He keeps Slazzle in the active. And then I Guzma up Zork. 
and KO it. Nobody is actually going to attack me though. Okay, rip. That's a little annoying. I guess now he can't finish me off next turn. I he could Lele me. Oh my gosh, that's annoying. That is very annoying. And I stay burned. That's definitely not helping my case at all. Thanks. Uh, we do find treasure. I mean, we're not really in need on wings. We have one baby Volk. We really need to get baby Volk into play too. I don't know if I want to grab Dawn Wings here. It's kind of pointless. I don't think I even really need to grab anything. No Lele's need to be grabbed. We'll just sick more. Hope we hit another Hobo and like baby Volk or something. Which, yeah, we're good. We can do this. I am going to get baby Volk here because this guy is going to be a really good attacker in the future. And, uh, whoops, don't want to play that. And we'll just knock him out with Phoenix Burn. And we're probably going to get killed by Lele. That's fine, though. We take out his Zork DX. We'll take our two prizes. There's another Energy, another Field Blower. And then next turn, we can try and build up more ho -Ohs. If not, we can build up Turnator, which is another decent alternative to KO his Zoarks and stuff. We'll probably get KO'd by Lele, unfortunately. That's fine, though. The thing with ho -Oh is it doesn't take that long like it's not that hard for, it's not that hard for your opponent to ko ho, ho a lot of the time because it is like pretty i don't know the four energies means even lele can attack it so he's putting two more slanders on his bench but no zoro was which is a good sign he's gonna do special charge for one dce it looks like so maybe he didn't hit it maybe he didn't hit, if he didn't hit dc this is gonna be a really big turn because i can treasure for another lele he didn't hit it that is beautiful now Here's the weird thing. Here is the weird thing. I actually can't KO Lele. I can't really KO anything. Like, this is a little odd. A bit of a weird predicament. Uh, we'll do Field Blower. We'll get rid of Parallel. We'll get rid of the Choice Band. Honestly, I'm really tempted on just to retreat ho -Oh into Baby Volk. I think I'm going to do that. And we'll just try and hit another ho -Oh here. This is why I like Baby Volk in this deck. I think it's pretty good to have. Um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Do I want to do Steam Up? I don't really see a point in that, but I do want to increase the odds of hitting like another Fire type here. Though I'm not too upset about building up Volk. But we can hit him for 50, which I'm fine with. Perfect. We got another Ho-Oh. We do have a Ranguru. In case he does play another parallel, I don't know if that'll happen though. He doesn't have any Zorks in play, so I doubt it'll happen. Uh, in the meantime, we'll build up. Actually, I don't even know if I want to play that. I might hold the energy and just power heater. I mean, we might need it for next turn on my Ho -Oh here or something, I guess. I mean, the other, the hole with one third damage still can be uh, built up and attack with it next turn if I really want. So I might as well just save it. I can knock out Lele next turn too if I really want to gonna end me to four okay never mind that play goes up the window though so, like if i did play a ranguru down or something and he played another parallel i'd obviously get rid of the heavily damaged ho -Oh. Ooh, we have another kiawe i can honestly just do kiawe on this ho -Oh and have two holes ready to go even though one of them is heavily damaged i guess but whatever tempted to do that how much fire is energies we have left we have five in play and two in the discard, and we have 14. So we got, like, I think we have a few prizes. We might only have, like, four fires left in the deck, so... We'll have to see if I go through with that. I think I'm okay with that idea, though. We have Lele for Guzma, if we want. Or if I want, I can just attack him again. And I'll go from there. But he plays Salazzle down. So, if we top deck an energy, I can go for the Phoenix Burn and knock out Salazzle, which I don't hate either. And at that point, just have to finish off Lele to win the game which is looking decent, so... Maybe I do target down the Slazzle GX. He will play a DC on Lele. He'd already end me. Unless he's playing Counter Catcher, he won't knock me out. So he's gonna hit me for 60. See what we draw. We drew an Ultra Ball. Okay, no energies. So I can Power Heater again and just build up ho -Oh again. Or I can do Kiawe and build it up. Feels like Kiawe is just the better play here. Do I want to play a Ranguru down? I may as well. I wish I, I wish I knew how much energy I had left, though. I'm pretty sure I'm okay, so I'm just going to build up the other Ho-Oh. We'll put all the energies on it. It's fine. 
It's fine. It's fine. Now, if we can top deck into our other choice band or another energy, we'll knock out this Lazzle on the bench. He also has no Zorbs in play also, so it's going to be hard for him to really chain any like, puzzle plays to try and parallel me again or anything, or even find another Guzma for that matter, so... Hopefully Ho-Ho is safe on the bench here. Also, Volk might not even get knocked out either in the active. Might force him to have to waste a Hot Poison to knock out my Volk, which I'm fine with. It's only given up one prize card. And it kind of did its job. It got energy in play, which is what we wanted. So I'm okay with Volk getting KO'd. I don't mind that. Volk getting KO'd would be for the good cause. He's gonna do Synthesis. So my Ho-Ho is safe. I don't know how many basic fires he is running in his deck. I'm assuming he's up playing up to four. He might hit an energy to KO me. There is a Zorua, so I can also KO that with uh, Lele. I can Guzma KO Zorua, Phoenix Burn. Seems like a waste, though. It's better to knock out the GXs. Oh, he's going to Field Blower me. Okay, getting rid of the Float and Choice Band are big, especially that Choice Band, because if we drew an energy, we would have had knockout on Salazzle. I can still knock out Lele, though, with Phoenix Burn, so it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Probably won't be too hard for me to find what I'm looking for here. So let's see if my opponent does take the uh, knockout. If not, he can swing me for 60 and I'll still have 10 HP remaining. And if he wants to parallel me again, my Volk can get, just get discarded earlier on. Still have our two floats and everything, so we should be good to retreat Volk and get it safe off the active spot if he does not have a knockout. Which he doesn't, so it's going to energy drive me for 60. We'll try and knock out Lele here. And alright, we just straight up do Floatstone. You know what? This hand is honestly good enough to just hold, because I have Lele. Um, and I can Guzma next turn, so I'm just going to hold this hand. I'm going to hold the hand. Hulk, and and then. Alright, I was hoping we would hit a Fire Energy off of that, so that I could do the Knockout next turn with Steam Up, but I'm fine with leaving Hobo in the active, because if we can get any way to get a Knockout next turn with a Choice Band or an Energy Top Deck, We'll just win the game on knocking out the Lazzle, so I'm fine with holding this hand. Plus, we can we get Sacred Fire next turn to hit hit um if he does go into Zork, hit Zork for 50 next turn, and then like he'll be able to be killed easier by Volcanic Heat. So I don't know. There's a Sycamore. I doubt he'll knock out Ho. -Oh. He might, he might, but I think he would need Q. We have 190 HP, which is a pretty big number. It's a pretty big number. I mean, I guess if he full benches, gets a Reverse Valley, or Devoured Field, and hits a Choice Band, and gets a full field, I guess we'll get KO'd. But even if he does, we still have this hole, which is already ready to be powered up anyways. Plus, we still have Vault, so we can still build up our bench, so... Not a big deal. And if we really want, we can... I mean, we have another Kiawe, right? Yeah, we should. I can honestly just Kiawe to this hole again and just build him right back up, so... Doesn't really matter, I think. Even if he does knock me out this turn, we should still be good to win the game. As long as we can knock out Zoark, we're okay. But again, if he does find Choice Ban in a full field, and a Devourer field, or something I could get KO'd, I doubt he will, though. That's asking for a lot. It's asking for a lot. I doubt he'll hit it. I doubt he'll hit it. We should be safe. Which we are. Alright, so all we need to do is just find a way to win, and we're good. Can we get an energy top deck so that we can finish off Slazzle on the bench? No, we did find a Guzma, though. Not what I was looking for. We'll Ultra Ball. Probably just get rid of the other Ho-Oh at this point. We still have Super Rod, right? Um, I mean, if I can hit one of my Fires in a Choice Band, I can win. How much Retreat? He has two Retreat costs. Okay. So you know what? Um, maybe I just Guzma up the Salazzle and just attack with Bulk. Well, if he has Guzma, it's not going to matter. And he's only played one. So I just try and go for the win here. We've already done Phoenix Burn, so we'd have to find, like, two energies or, like, an energy and a choice band. We might not hit that. I mean, I don't really hate that, though. We're going to go for it. What am I getting super odd either to get back some of these Pokemon, especially this baby Volk? And Turdinator and even the other Ho-Oh. Oh, we got the Choice Band, but we did not find an energy to wrap the game up. That is a bit of a rip in the chat. Okay, well. We just retreat back into Volk then. For now. 
We'll Ultra Ball, get rid of Nest Ball. And yeah, Dawn Wings can also go at this point in time. Just in case he ends me to two. And we'll Power Heater. And we'll have two Ho-Ho's ready to go. Or almost ready to go. That's my best play. Now he's got 190 HP. But still not enough to kill him with Phoenix Burn. The whiff is a little annoying. We have one Guzma left too. So that's something to note. Only having one Guzma is interesting. But we'll see if we can wrap the game up. See if we can wrap it up here. He's gonna do a stretcher. He might grab Lele here for Guzma. I think he's going to. Yep. It doesn't really matter what hole we knock out. Like as long as I just hit an energy off the sycamore here, we're good to win the game. Plus, he still needs to retreat one of these slazzles. He's played four energies and a DC, so he's played a lot of energies, so he may not even get it. And now my Pepsi is empty, guys. So he's gonna get rid of enhanced hammer again. I doubt he's got any fires left. He might have a DC. He might have a float to retreat one of these guys to KO ho, -Ho But again, if he does that, as long as we hit energy, he should win the game. Should be okay. He's going to play down Lele. So he's going for the Lele here. I mean, plus if he doesn't... The fact that this is in play. If he doesn't knock out this ho, -Ho for some reason, if he KOs this ho, -Ho we still can just draw an energy and just Lele Guzma knock out this Lele on the bench and win the game in case we don't want to go all in. He might not have the energy to retreat though. This just might not even happen. I honestly might prefer him to knock me out with Lele here because it's got the mo it's got the least amount of HP of all these attackers, which he is going to do. So all we need to do is just find a fire energy and we win the game. And we might be in trouble if we don't find it, not gonna lie, but if we hit the fire to win, we should be golden. Should be golden. So we're gonna have to go all in here, guys. We've got two fires left. We're gonna have to thin out what we can. We're gonna have to get rid of a lot here to find this. Come on, don't whiff fire energy. Not today, not today, not today, not today. Yes, we're good, we're good, we're good. <sighs> we're good. Okay, I'm pressing the fire. Let me let me press it. Let me press it. But there we go. Phoenix Burn for the win on two back-to-back -back Zork matchups, which were both good games. We had two Fire Energies prize. That would have been a good time not to have them prize. Will we be able to get a pack? 25 coins. I don't think this is enough. Oh, it is. So, yeah, we can get a pack to round out the video. I think I will end off the video here, guys. We got two pretty good games with Ho-Oh there against two different Zork decks. So, pretty good matches. Let's see if we can get Rayquaza GX. I'm hoping we can out of these two packs. But, um, we'll open it up. I was hoping we could maybe play against Naganadel Stack Attacka. That would have been a nice fun matchup to uh, try out. We weren't able to find a Stack Attacka game, unfortunately. But again, ho is good for dealing with Stack Attacka. And we got Reg Ice. That's enough of the Reg Ice. At least we got more Versal Shuppets. So I guess we can bling out with Mainnet now. But um, that'll wrap up today's PTCGO video. The last video in the Breakthrough on format, most likely. For the foreseeable future, there won't be any more. But ho o Kiawe doesn't have potential at Worlds. I think it might be an okay pick. Um, it's matchup against Zork Macargo may not be the worst because you have a lot of energy to work with. It's hard for them to stall you out. It's easy to one-shot the Zorks, which Zork Macargo doesn't like to see. You also can beat a lot of metal matchups, and you can beat grass matchups too, which is pretty good. So, you know, whole Kiawe might be an okay pick for Worlds, but thanks for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed the breakthrough and on videos when I did them, I gotta thank you guys a lot for all the support over the year of uploading the breakthrough and on content. It's been a lot of fun. Again, we had a lot of fun. A lot of fun decks were made like Mega Steelix Kiawe, Zoar Counter Energy Bach, Dark Ride Nelly Higo. Um, a lot of fun decks were made. Malamari Arido. So many fun decks. I gotta thank you guys for all the support over the entire year. All the growth, everything. It's been amazing. Hopefully, Sun and Moon on is the big year for me, and hopefully, by next year, I have maybe over 7,000 subscribers. Who knows, but I'm excited for what's to come in Sun and Moon on. May not be a big fan of the format, but I'm excited to see what happens. So thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. I'll catch you guys in another PC Joe video. Subscribe to help me grow to 4,000 subs. Follow my Twitter in the link in the description below. See you guys later. Goodbye.